Okay, so um, welcome to another video by Johnny. So today I have a student, one-on-one yes. -on -one student. He doesn't know much about the IELTS exam, but this is the first time that he studied it, isn't it? Am I right, Min? Yes. Is it the it's first time that you are learning for the IELTS exam? Mm, yes, of course, but um, I've never taken any exam. You have never taken it, right? Yes. I see. Okay, so you are aiming for basically band 7. But to be honest with you, band 7 is not easy to achieve. Oh, yes. You need to be careful with not making like mistakes so much. But you also need to show that you, your speaking is good enough, you know. And it mm. sounds, it, it must sound natural enough. Nó phải nghe nó đủ tự nhiên, đủ tốt, không phạm nhiều lỗi, vâng vâng. Okay, let's try something. So, three part of the speaking test. Part one, they will ask you like very common questions about yourself, about topics related to um, to you. Like for example, how's home, accommodation, work, study, um, celebration, um, something related, yeah. Just to warm up, để mà làm nóng lên thôi. You can just answer whatever you want, but remember, you should typically try to make your answer a bit longer, okay? Ráng cố gắng làm cái câu trả lời nó dài ra hơn, so that the examiners have something to base on to give you a, a grade okay yeah. if your answer is too short it's hard for examiners to judge or to assess your use of english language so like for example for part one who do you live with you can just say i live with my family or i live with my girlfriend something like that but you should also expand it mở rộng ra. Yeah. like about two or three more sentences like for example what do you think about living with them um, how do you feel about them or something like that Frank gắng mở rộng nó ra you know okay let's uh, okay for that's for part one part two they will ask you a topic let's say describe something maybe describe a person describe a place or describe something you know and you have only 60 seconds in the exam mm. to prepare for this topic. You will be given like a piece of paper, you know? Yeah. And when 60 seconds ends, you have to describe it immediately. Mm. You have from one minute to two minutes to describe it. If you exceed two minutes, the examiner will stop you immediately. And you have to go to part three immediately to talk about something similar, but uh, more advanced. Nhớ nha, part two không được nói quá dài đâu nha, chỉ nói được đủ những cái điều này thôi. Just focus on what you should say, okay? Quá 120 giây, ta sẽ ngừng lại ngay tức luôn á. Vậy nói part three liền á. Say cái tầm. Vậy nếu mà nói tầm khoảng một phút rưỡi là cũng ok rồi đúng không? One and a half is okay. Yeah, one and a half minutes is okay. Oh, yes. Okay. For Wait. part three, remember part three, you have to bring everything you have. Try your best for part three. Try to make your answer as long as possible and give examples. Ráng làm cho cái câu trả lời part three nó dài nhất có thể cho ví dụ. Xong rồi um, lật ngược vấn đề là nếu mà không có chuyện đó thì sẽ như thế nào ấy Try to make it longer. Try to give examples. Try to say what would happen if it was the other way around you know just try to make it longer and try to use more um, better vocabulary more fancy structures or anything in part three but most importantly be natural okay quan trọng nhất nó vẫn là phải là tự nhiên nha chứ không phải là cái kiểu mà cứ nhét cho thật nhiều từ vựng khủng vào sẽ nhìn nghe nhức não là được nha sai nha mọi người hiểu rất là sai về cái IELTS luôn á không phải cái nhét từ vận khủng và là nó ổn đâu nó mà không tự nhiên la bị trừ điểm 
<clears throat> okay, so let's try a part one question first. So, what do you study? Or what is your major? Are you still in the university or are you still a student in high school? Uh, I'm still a student in high school. In high school? In high school, yeah. Like, what do you... Uh, okay, so basically... Do you like your school? Try to expand it. Cố gắng mở rộng ra. Yes, of course. It gives me a sense of fulfillment and also many joy. Um, uh, besides... Fulfillment, but also much joy. Much joy. Much joy. Tại joy không đếm được. Uncountable, you know. Well, but also much joy. Can you describe it? Well, this, Đó, cứ để người ta hỏi hoài. Chứ như vậy không nên nha. Phải cố gắng nó mở rộng ra thêm nữa. Like, for example, what do you think about those joy? Are your friends okay? Something like that. Uh, my friend, my friend is at school is really friendly, and they not only I can play with them, but also I can learn a lot about them. Right. Can you give examples? You know, make it longer. You know, like on what on which occasions can you learn from them? And are they? Uh, of course, they are treating you nicely. You know. Uh, for example, when uh, we meet any topic, new topic, then right. we are together and share our knowledge about that topic. And besides, when we have uh, some occasions like preparing for a presentation, we help each other a lot, and I learn a lot of from them. Right, I see. Do you study better in the mornings or in the afternoon? Well, to the best of my knowledge, I find that um, studying in the morning is much better because um, about at about nine nine o'clock, that's the best time for human to study new things. And in the Actually, afternoon, actually, ten o'clock or nine o'clock is a great time for mathematics or anything logical. You know. Yeah. They the study they say that you know. Mm, yes. For language, it's not the morning. To be honest with you, for language, I believe it was maybe afternoon time. I think. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, if I remember it right, it was only afternoon. You know, like wow. for language. Okay, so tell me, um, talking about school, what is your favorite subject, or what are your favorite subjects then? Well, at, at school, my favorite subject is only English because um, that's the only subject I I'm good at, and yeah, all that because um, I'm not so good at the science subjects at school. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't have to worry too much about it. Yes. English is the gateway to many things. So if you're good with English, you can study anything with ease, you know? Yes. Or maybe just relatively ease. Một sự dễ dàng, tương đối. Relatively, with a relative ease. Okay, so... Uh, do you think Vietnam or your country has an effective education system? And is there any problem with the system? What would you suggest that they can change to get better? Mm. Or to be better? Yes. Um, in my experience, I think um, maybe they're not so effective because they judge all students through um, just marks in every subject and they prior math to other subjects like english so maybe i find that um they can they doesn't they doesn't have a you know, an effective system and i want it to change into the system that they uh, assess student through their good point and they should nurture it and besides they should 
pay more attention and help the student to develop best, the best in their major. I think so too. Well, there is another aspect I can uh, give you an idea on. Like, I think school should um, should basically focus on teaching people good behaviors, you know, and how to behave better in a society and to develop their emotion or develop how to uh, interpersonal skills, you know interpersonal skills rather than just like knowledge facts and figures in science or history or anything like that you know because after all we are humans we interact in the workplace and we become successful because of our soft skills you know but you know the facts and figures are good if you want to let's say be a good worker but to be successful much more much more successful in the workplace you need soft skills so that's what i can give you an idea on so tell me about your home then well at the moment i so what kind of housing or accommodation do you live in well, at the moment, I'm living in a two house with two floor, and it's rather two it's, story, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a two story, and I find it's rather rather long because uh, it's really good because it's very long and longer than other house, and mm -hmm. also it gives me more really more it's much fun and joy and. I would it would uh, be my experience and the best memory to mem mem memorize to the to the end of my life. So it seems to me that you like to live there. Am I right? Yes. It seems just seem to me that you like to live there. But yeah. how long have you lived there, and who you live with? <clears throat> well. I've lived in my house since I was born and it's a great time and I live with my family, with uh, my parents and my brother, of course, and we had great time with each other, especially when it's at dinner, we chat a lot and share our experience in, during the day and yeah, it has a really great experience. Hmm. I see. I see. Okay, so tell me, what do you usually do at home? Well, I you know, the most. The, I do. I learn the most. Most of, of the time. Most of the time. Or yeah. most of my time. I. Most of most of my time I spend on learning because um the whole day I spend at school and in the evening. Uh, we just have a fast dinner, and then I I I spend the the other time in the evening on learning. So that's like yeah, just learning. Don't you have any hobbies at all, or yeah. do you play video games or something like that? Yes, I do have uh, hobbies such as um playing sports like football in during uh, um. The late afternoon, yes. And I don't know, but playing playing sport is actually an activity, but I don't think it's a hobby. Um, I think a hobby including like what you do for fun, you know. Like for example, you can read books, you can watch movies, you can play video game. That's a hobby, but I think playing sport it's an activity more. I think I'm not so sure. Maybe I'm wrong. But anyway, say again. Nhưng mà chơi thể thao cũng vui mà. Ah, okay. If you think it's fun, then probably it's a good hobby, I think. Yes. Uh, okay. Thể thể thao à? Say again. Ủa thế thầy không chơi thể thao à? I play. I do. I go to the gym, but I don't do. I don't play sports. Oh. Why? What's the problem? Chơi <laughs> chơi chơi đi hơi bị vui. Oh well, I'm not that kind of person. Okay. Okay.
anyway i go to the gym much more than i i, I never really like to play any sport but the only sport that i know how to play is badminton i think oh yes all right so tell me please so what's the difference i mean no you still live in the same place right so i cannot ask you this question okay so how are the transport facilities to your home are they very good like for example you know what transport facilities is right yes um... like bus like a bus like um, motorbikes by metro by boat by train by um, airplane or something like that how are the transport facilities to your home are they very good or is it hard to get to your home is it easy something like that my, my home my home is situated in a countryside so those, the traffic facility is not so good and it's just a bus and motorbikes or cars so um the traveling to my home is really convenient but there are not so many options to, to, to take right there are not so many options i see well i figured that you might want to in, invite your friends over then maybe they can just go there by uh, by motorbikes i guess yes so tell me do you prefer to live in a house or an apartment and why um at the moment i live in living in a no um in the future i would prefer to live in a, a, an apartment because um that might be more convenient than a flat because um although i find two kinds that two those two kinds relatively similar but i think i I would love to live in a, an apartment, especially when I settle down and uh, start my family. Oh, I see. You have already thought about settling down and have a family. That's at your age. Wow. You mm. know, when I was your age, I never really think about those things. <laughs> mm. And until yeah. now, I have no intention of doing that. I don't just I don't just don't understand why people want to get married early, you know, and have children. Ừ. Anh trước cũng vui mà. Say again. Như là thấy như thầy bảo ấy, sư tử hay ảo tưởng nhưng mà tính nó. Well, nó... Leo tính people uh, Leo people are a bit, you know. <laughs> như là phải để. They have a very good imagination, à. yes, but sometimes they just live in their dreams, you know. Yeah, but sometimes uh, well, sometimes realistic, but a lot of the time I think it's just you know not so realistic. Nhưng mà nếu mà realistic thì chắc chắn tức là cái cái điều mình nghĩ nó ở trong tầm nhìn của mình rồi mà. Well, if it's in your grasp. Trong cái tầm với, if it's in within your graphs, then why not? In my graphs? Well, tell me, what part of your home like do you like it most? Like the kitchen, the living room, the bedroom, the ceiling, the balcony, or your top floor, your um, the yard, or the garden, or something? What part of your home do you like the most? Well, I love... <coughs> I love my balcony the most because uh, during summer nights uh, there's, there's so much um, wind out there and because I my home my home is situated situated in a lovely countryside so there's not uh, light pollution so there's not much pollution there especially light pollution so that in the evening I can uh, look to the to the sky and see the stars, for example, and even the Milky Way. Wow, you can see actually see the Milky Way, really? Uh, thì thì chẳng phải nó cái đường trên mặt trên trên bầu trời sao? Thấy được không? Thấy không ạ? Ghê. 
Wow, it's... because I've never been able to see it in Milky Way because I live in the city all the time, you know. Yes, um, thực ra thì cũng không hẳn nó phải là một cái buổi tối mất điện. Yeah, it has to be like a night without any electricity at all that you can see clearly the sky, the Milky Way and things. Nhưng mà nhìn thì nó cũng mờ mờ ảo ảo thôi. Not so clear, of course, I think. But I think there's a, a way in the sky, just cross, cross in the sky, yeah. Wow. I have just seen it once. I see. <clears throat> so, is there anything you want to change about the place you are living now? Maybe you want it to be a bit taller, like more story, so you can, you know, see the sky better, maybe? Mm, at the moment, I don't want to change anything. Uh, of course, in the future, I want to make it uh, have more story, so that if uh, whenever my my um my family or my brother's family comes come back to this house we would have um enough room for my kids to enjoy and play children children don't use the word kids in IELTS trong IELTS tránh dùng những từ không trình trọng nha like for example don't use kids use children okay children yes remember that please vâng okay có những cái từ nào nên tránh nữa nè Dad với mom nữa nè Hãy dùng chữ father hoặc là mother Ok à, à. Cái chữ kid tại sao nó lại không nên Tại vì nó có một cái nghĩa tiếng lóng Đó chính là cậu trai cô gái mới lớn We know in IELTS you should not use slang or taboos Những cái từ mà gọi là tiếng lóng, slang hoặc là taboo Từ bị cấm á Từ mà à. gây xúc phạm á, không nên sử dụng Like for example a Words like You know Kids should not. Cool should not. Không nên dùng chữ cool, chữ kid. Hoặc là gonna, wanna. You know. Just say would like to. Oh. Or going to. Ok. Mm. Nói chung là nó phải trình trọng chút xíu. Đi thi mà. You're going yeah. to the exam. You have to understand something. You know. Now tell me. Um, moment. Right, so let's talk about future work. I know you're still a student in high school, but you might have some idea about what you want to do in the future. So, um, can you tell me your dream job? Like, what do you want to do in the future? Well, in the future, I would like I would love to become a successful a successful entrepreneur and entrepreneur, so that, right? Yes, entrepreneur and. I would have, I would love to run uh, the whole company or corporations oh, and wow. yeah and become successful to provide for my family and make some contribution to the public. Wow, that's a that's a big dream, you know. Why not? We should dream big and try to achieve our dreams, you know. Yes. Um, okay, yes. so tell me Um, so you dream about owning a company and then becoming an entrepreneur, but you know that before you can become an owner of a place, you should be a worker first, am I right? Yes, of course. <clears throat> so think about that time. So um, do you have any idea what, we, what you will study, like mm -hmm. in a university? I think I would study about um, economy at the university or careful, careful to study a field. We don't have adjective, uh, don't have uh, a preposition. Không có giới từ nha. Khi em nói em học ngành gì á, nó không có giới từ. I would like to study, for example, economy. Yes, for I would like to study uh, business administration. I would like to study designing, for example. Không có giới từ nha. Okay, let's try again. So, uh, do you have any idea what you will study in the university? Yes, I, I would like to study economy or uh, foreign, foreign business. And 
Okay, so be careful with this one. This is a word that it's very easily mispronounced. Cái từ này rất là dễ bị phát âm sai nha. So we have the word economy. Economy. It's economy. But the word you should talk about right now is economics. Nhóm ngành kinh tế nha. Economics. Những ông bà. Oh yeah. So economics. Economics, 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 and we also um, we also have adjectives too. We have the adjective economic, adjective thuộc về kinh tế, and economical, mang tính tiết kiệm. Um, economical means like something. That will save you money, but, but it can yeah. still achieve the result that you want. Một cái gì đó tiết kiệm tiền nhưng nó vẫn đạt được cái kết quả mà mình mong muốn với nó. Yeah. Like for example, economical basically um, it is economical to purchase to purchase. Um, in bulk nó kinh tế hơn khi mà mình mua số nhiều nha it's more economical to purchase in bulk it means it will save you a lot of money you know nó tiết kiệm tiền hơn chứng minh but not all the time because if you buy in bulk and the product spoil because they they are out of date that mm. is a waste of money nếu mình mua mà để nó hư xong đồ hết đát chứng hạn nó là sự phí phạm <laughs> it depends okay. But anyway, the word you're trying to use is economics, okay? Okay, let's try again. Uh, what would you like to study in a university? I would like to learn about, to learn economics at the university so that I would have, have a, a wide knowledge about the economy, economy of my country and the economy of my other country in the world so that mm -hmm. I, would have, I would have enough knowledge to start my business in the future right well running a business is really tough these days you know that right it's really really tough to run a business especially in this very bad economy mm -hmm. but uh, in a developing economy like Vietnam, there might be good chances to. Uh, yes, good chance to. Chance well, to you mean there's a good chance to earn big money, is it? <clears throat> yes. Big All right. Money. So yeah, please continue. No, and enlarge my business and make make it become one of the largest corporations in the country or in the world. <clears throat> okay, so tell me, would you like to, would you choose to be a freelancer like me or to work for people before mm. you can start to open a business? Why? Why not? Hmm. Yes, I think that freelancer gives us um, various op opportunities to learn new, uh, new, new things about the world outside and have uh, the various outside world. Have, yes. yes, and to have new experience about many aspect, aspects of work, aspect. working aspect. aspect but aspect of uh, the workplace and so that I think before I before I I become an entrepreneur run my own my own business I would now I would love to become a freelancer to learn new things in in different aspects I see I have been a freelancer I think for about eight years already mm -hmm. and I still love it you know I have no intention to open a business because 
you know, I know exactly how hard it is to run a business these days. Yes. And the economy of the world is suffering a lot, especially after COVID ends, you know. Yes, those, those are challenges that uh, every entrepreneur has to access and um, deal with. And deal with it. Well, if you think it that way. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you know that to be a freelancer, you need to have good discipline, right? Yes. Otherwise, you might end up like not being productive. Because to be a freelancer, you do not have to go to work on time. You do not have to wear uniforms. And also, um, you, do, you do not have to report to anybody. Không phải báo cáo cho ai cả. So, <coughs> it's likely that freelancers can be unmotivated, you know. Or they don't have the discipline to keep on working hard. You know, I know a lot of people are like that, you know. Yeah. So, you need to have good discipline to become yeah. a good freelancer. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so do you think, what do you think about that? Well, I find that kind of right, because um, schools taught teachers about discipline and I always maintain it. Maintain it. Mm -hmm. I see, you always try to maintain it, I see. Right, so do you think people nowadays work too much? Well, I don't think so because um, work, too mu work too much is the way they choose to work because, you know, they can just uh, work eight hours a day and and then go to work, go to home or... Go home, go home. Go home. and Or they can work overtime and make and to impress their, their bosses, so... I don't, I don't really think people work over time just to impress their boss, you know? Because okay. I think because they are forced to work over time, to be honest with you. A mm. lot of workplace, they ask workers to work over time, but they do not pay them more, you know? Oh. So it's like they are forcing their workers to work over time it's not about impressing anybody, I think. So I think this is this is certainly not fair. Well, nhưng mà xem xem người ta vẫn hay nói kiểu work over time thì dần dần ví dụ cuối năm thì sẽ được thưởng thêm hay sao? Đó là hứa thôi. À. Nhưng mà hứa là chuyện công ty có làm chứ không là chuyện khác. À. People often promise workers that if they work over time they will get a bonus they will get a bonus by the end of the year but that is only a promise you know that's only a promise by the end of the year they can just say that okay the financial situation of the company isn't good this year so nobody received bonus you know they can just say that then who Tài tính công ty năm nay không được tốt lắm, không có được thưởng hết. Yeah, they can say that. You know. And they often say that, you know. So that's why workers, they are quitting their jobs a lot these days, you know. Nhiều người tình nghĩ việc lắm luôn. Because of these things. Anyway, um, let's go to part 2 and 3 now. You already warm up enough. Okay, let's... Let me choose something for you. <clears throat> okay, I'm not so sure, but I have a feeling that this is your favorite topic. I might be wrong, okay? Yes. Okay, so part 2 and 3, you, do you remember what I, talk, what I told you? What you have to do, right? Yes. Favorite singer or actor, right? Yeah, but you have to talk about this one like from one to two minutes only. Yes. And part three is related to part two. So you don't have enough time to prepare for part two, for part three, okay? Yes. In the real exam, you are not even um, 
you you are not given like these part three questions trong lúc đi thi em không được coi cái part three đâu nha you are only yeah. given like a cue card for part two only ok yeah. em chỉ được cho một cái tấm thẻ để nói về part two nó nói về cái gì thôi chứ mấy câu này là đâu có được coi cho coi trước đâu vâng yeah, đúng rồi right so anyway let's try it ok remember part three you have to try to expand the topic as much as possible ok but part two remember to stick to what you should say only để tránh bị lố giờ well the examiners can stop you if you exceed the time limit but that does not affect your score ok bị dừng lại đột ngột tức là người ta đã nghe đủ rồi chứ không phải là bị trừ điểm đâu đừng lo yes ok so let's try this one Describe your favorite singer or actor. Okay, just a moment, please. Okay, um, so part two, topic number one. Describe your favorite singer or actor. Miêu tả cái người diễn viên hoặc là cái người ca sĩ ưa thích của bạn. You should say who she, he or she is. Người đó là ai vậy? What his or her personality is like. Cái tính cách của cái người này như thế nào? How do you know how you know about this person? Làm thế nào bạn biết về cái người này? And explain why he or she is your favorite. Giải thích tại sao anh ta hoặc cô ta là cái người thừa, ưa thích của bạn. Okay, let's uh, then part 3 you have question like this. Do you think your favorite singer or actor is good in their field and why? Bạn có nghĩ cái người mà mình đang vừa mới nói á? giỏi trong cái ngành của họ không? Tại sao? Do singer or actor plays an important role in your country? Những người diễn viên điện ảnh hoặc là uh, ca sĩ đó có đóng một vai trò quan trọng trong đất nước bạn hay không? Think about the role that they play in, you know, they influence people, they influence the young people. And also, they can influence like the middle age or older people as well. Whatever they do, the people will try to listen to them, right? So they can be like a kind of leader, you know. They have influence. Nó có ảnh hưởng. Người ta có ảnh hưởng. So um, think about that. And give examples. For example, like what happened if they do something bad? Would children follow that? Or if they say something, if they advocate. So this is a word to learn now. To advocate for something. Kêu gọi, kêu gọi ủng hộ điều gì đó. Like for example, if they advocate for a, ch a charity, for example. Từ thiện chẳng hạn. People will listen a lot, will listen to them, and then they will donate. They will donate money. Họ sẽ quyên góp tiền ha. Easily. Think about their words. If you are famous, if you are singer or actors, people listen to you more than people listen to a normal person, right? Think about that. Okay, next question. How do you think that celebrities now have a lot of income? Bạn nghĩ cái chuyện mà những người nổi tiếng bây giờ có rất nhiều thu nhập thì nó như thế nào? Like, for example, is it fair? Có đã có công bằng hay không? And think about what they have to try hard for it or not. Give examples. And think about there are social contribution sự cống hiến cho xã hội is it worth it to pay them a lot of money có đáng để chi cho họ rất nhiều tiền cho một cái show diễn hay không or pay them a lot of money you know Do people prefer to listen to traditional music or foreign music in your country? Why? Con người ta thích nghe nhạc truyền thống 
hay nhạc nước ngoài trong đất nước bạn tại sao? Think about like why people like to listen to foreign music. What values the what values do these foreign music bring to them? Like for example, western music bring in like, you know, um, freedom and thoughts. Nhạc của phương Tây thì nó đem đến cái sự tự do trong suy nghĩ Nhạc quá đông thì nó đem đến cái sự mà nó vẫn còn cái nặng cái sự mà gọi là Tradition, truyền thống Những cái giới hạn, limitations Asian music is often sometimes very limiting, you know And it reflects The music reflects The, the thinking style of people Cái âm nhạc nó sẽ phản ánh ra cái cách suy nghĩ của con người So think about um, the personality of people Người ta sẽ bị hấp dẫn bởi những loại nhạc nào tùy vào cái tính cách nữa nha Depending on personalities People can be attracted to different kind of music You can give some example about that Like for example, what personality would like bolero more, you know Yes. What personality would like rock music or heavy metal music more? What kind of personality would like K-pop, J-pop, V-pop, something like that, you know? Or I notice what kind of people often follow Lana Del Rey, you know, something like that. Maybe they just think differently. Maybe they're a bit, you know, They think just think differently compared to the rest of the public, for example. Người ta suy nghĩ hơi khác người xíu chẳng hạn. All right, think about that one. You have two minutes to think about part two and part three now. Nhớ lúc vị thầy chỉ có một phút thôi nha để hỏi nói về part two. Yeah. Can, okay, you can describe it now. Describe your favorite singer or actor, please. Start. Yes, I'm going to. <coughs> yes, I'm going to share with you, yeah, my favorite singer, and that is uh, Denver, oh, a famous rapper in Vietnam, and he was like uh, a kind person, and he's also a generous and enthusiastic person to me, and uh, the first time I, I know when i knew about him was when he posted a new music video and the social media was like booming and that's when i knew i knew about him and the, mu the music of this person is kind of, is a kind of um inspirational and it has great moral values and what kind of value a moral value moral values uh-huh Yeah, and he's my favorite. He's my cup of tea because um he he set a good example for other singers to follow, and he's like a a typical uh, typical celebrity because um lately he has um post a music video and all the money he got he get from that video will uh, go straight to go straight to charity in mountainous areas oh, and wow. <clears throat> and in the past when um, he, he also held some show and all the all the money he got from selling tickets we also come to charity and he buy food and raise some children in um, the needy needy areas so that I find that He's a great person to follow, and he's the one. He's the one I want to pursue his image. Okay, okay, it's enough. Two minutes already. Okay, remember, you have two minutes. Okay, but I think it's good enough because you already describe. I mean, you you said about a lot of things. You should say already. So good. I think it's good enough. Yes. All right. Just have to be careful with the verb you use. Okay. Is it uh, past simple or is it present simple or something like that? 
cẩn thận động từ mình sử dụng thôi ok uh, let's go to part 3 of singer and actors <cười> so um, do you think that your favorite singer or actor is good or why yes of course um, to the best of my knowledge i think that he had great he has great uh, skills and knowledge in the, his field too um although he's not famous for his um skills but i find that if he compete with any uh, rapper in his field he would become one of the best uh, one of the biggest um op opponents for other rapper hmm opponents i see well do we actually do have a lot of competition in the rapping business in vietnam do you think uh, like do they uh, have a lot of competition like competitors you know uh yes um lately there's um, a show called rap viet and that's oh, kind i of heard about it. it's a big one isn't it yes it's kind of um booming the social media and it's really popular to um young to young people yeah even though like i can see like many young children trying to mimic rapping as well which is interesting it's okay. interesting yeah I, I think it's interesting because it um basically there's a shift because it uh, reflect a shift in thinking style of people in music so it's a good thing you know yeah <clears throat> If people are shifting, like um, trying to change their way of view, the point of view, you know. Okay, next question. Do singer or actors play an important role in your country? What do you think? Yes, um, they, they mu this, uh, their music or the their activity, activities set a good example for the people to follow and if they um, if they advocate for charity, I think that you know, the people in my country would follow and contribute to them a lot because, um, you know, for example, during the COVID-19 pandemic, or many, many celebrities have sent out and they call for money and they have donated much, much, much of this of their man, of their um for two so that i think they have great uh, they have great and important role in my in my country <clears throat> i see so think about their influence on the young people of course singer or actors they have a how can i say a more dramatic or more significant influence on the young people compare to parents or teachers too. Do you think so? Yes. Like in what way can you try to elaborate, try to, you know, explain it? Brand mm. mở rộng ý này ra thử. Like give examples. Some young people, they're willing to go to concerts just because they are celebrities uh, yeah. said that they would be there you know or they are willing to bring a lot of people to events just because they are celebrities said that they would be there too you know mm. yeah but it's hard for them to just go to classes sometimes even so I think that celebrities or singer actors are at a much better position to exert an influence to exert an influence on people, you know. So whatever they say is going to be impactful in a good or bad way. You know what I mean? Yes. Like for example, if they smoke a lot and if they do drugs, mm. if they do drugs, the young people will follow that easily. You know, it's very bad thing, very bad thing. 
Okay. So, okay, so next question. How do you think the celebrities now have a lot of income? What do you think? Is, well, it, is it like fair? I think it's uh, kind, kind of fair because um, in order to become a successful uh, singer or actor, they have to practice a lot. They have to keep up um, many of their hobbies and also they have to um, make great contributions to the public so in the, in order to become a celebrity so that I find I think that it's kind of fair it's kind of fair for everyone because um, other people don't have to give up things like them so becoming a celebrity and earn a lot of money that's a great price for them it's what great price Ah, it's a great price for them. <clears throat> I see. But you know, some celebrities, they're just too rich. And they don't exactly know what to do with that much income. They don't even do charity because, because they don't like it, for example. So instead, they use that money to do like, you know, um, nefarious thing. You know, nefarious mean harmful or mm. very dark things. Like, you know Tom Cruise, right? Yes. I'm not going to judge. I'm go not going to judge, but it feels like he is involved in cult. Yao Fai? You know, you mm. know that he is a very famous... Yes. Um, he's a very famous member of Scientology, a cult, right? Cái giáo phái là Scientology a very famous member in that cult and he donated a lot of money millions many millions of dollars to that cult we never know what those cult can do you know can be very bad can be but I don't think anything good comes from that to be honest right say again Uh, mấy cái này ngoài tầm hiểu biết của em quá Exactly Nhưng mà cũng nên biết à. Biết được càng nhiều càng tốt thôi If you know à. more, the more you know the better yeah. Because the more you know, the more things you have to say, you know And then it can impress the examiners And give you a better grade, I think Oh yeah Thật sự là có biết càng nhiều càng tốt thôi Mình sẽ nói được nhiều thứ hơn và nó sẽ Impress, nó sẽ gây ấn tượng tốt cho cái người mà examiner nó sẽ dễ dàng cho mình điểm tốt hơn thật sự là vậy với lại mình nói như như vậy nó sẽ có cái khả năng là nó nó lộ ra nhiều cái cấu trúc cao cấp hơn chẳng hạn mình biết xài thì mình được điểm cao hơn thôi ok let's try next next one do people prefer to listen to traditional music or foreign music in your country and why uh, well I think it depends on uh, which age group uh, which I grew up in my country. Um, when it comes to young people like us, um, they would love to um, listen to foreign music like uh, US, UK or K-pop. And when it comes to people at middle age, like my, my parents, they would like the bolero. And that's also, that's a traditional music. And when it comes, and- Music, traditional music, right? I don't think yeah. bolero is traditional music. Traditional music includes like folk songs, you know. Mm. You know folk songs? Yes. These are traditional music of Vietnam. Bolero has just been developed recently. I don't think they're traditional music. Cái nhạc bolero nó chỉ vừa mới được phát triển gần đây thôi nha. Chứ nó không có phải là cái gì đó mà truyền thống đâu. Traditional music, you can think about um, Like yep. folk songs from the south or the north or the central of Vietnam. Những bài hát dân ca từ miền Trung, miền Bắc, miền Nam, Việt Nam như thế. Từ dòng folk song, you know. hát xoan mấy cái hát kiểu hát truyền thống gì đó. Cũng... Yeah, 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 those things are traditional music. Yeah. Exactly. But most of the things you hear on TV these days are not traditional music. You know, they are modern music. Oh yeah. All right, so. Please yes. be careful with that. Cẩn thận cái khái niệm nha, nhiều khi em hiểu nhầm á. 
Yeah. And okay, let's try that again. Do people prefer to listen to traditional music or foreign music in your country, and why? Yes, um, I think it depends on which I group we are talking. <coughs> We're talking about um, when it comes to the young generation, they would love to uh, listen to foreign music like US, UK or K-pop. And when it comes to the old generation, they would prefer to um, listen to uh, traditional music like Haswan or <coughs> music, you know, Haswan or Gai Lương. And Vietnamese Gai Lương or something like uh, that. Remember, when you are mentioning words that are not English, you need to explain it, you know? Yes. Because don't expect people to understand what you're trying to say in, yes. a, in a language which is not English. Mình nghe những cái từ không phải tiếng Anh thì mình phải giải thích nha. Like for example, yeah. Đà Lạt, which is a city to the south of Vietnam. You have to explain it, for example. Oh, Or, yes. yeah, you should explain it. Mm. Okay, continue, please. Uh, like, like um, Haswan or Kai Lương, and those are Vietnamese traditional music those, that have... Those are, those are... Those are Vietnamese uh, traditional music that have been developed and maintained for thousands, thousands of years. And only the old people like that because um, the gen the young generation now find it rather unattractive and they would they don't they don't want to maintain it maintain them and learn them i see okay so let's move on to the next question next topic I'll choose something else for you. Okay, let's try number eight then. Describe a time when your computer broke down. Moment, let me make it smaller this way. Okay. Miêu tả một thời điểm nơi mà máy vi tính của bạn bị hư Broke down It's in the past, okay? Be careful with the past tense Cẩn thận với câu quá khứ trong cái này nha You oh. should say when it was What you were doing What you did about it Bạn đã làm gì về điều đó Explain how you felt about it Okay, and then part three, part three of computer. What kinds of people use the computer more? Những kiểu người nào họ sử dụng máy vi tính nhiều hơn? This is like you can talk a lot about office workers, students, gamers. Oh. Nhớ là nhân viên văn phòng á chỉ là office workers thôi nha. Wow. Còn officers là những người làm cho chính quyền nó gọi là officer nha Đây là một cái hiểu lầm tai hại luôn á <cười> Ok What kind of people you use computer more? You can talk about office workers, students, gamers um, IT people, you know, information technology, IT people engineers something like that teachers doctors no i don't think doctors use computer that much scientists and you should also explain their work and why they need to use computer you know yeah thích chút xíu về công việc của họ và tại sao họ lại sử dụng máy tính nhiều hơn như thế or you can also talk about like personality you can nói về thực khí cạnh mà về tính cách chẳng hạn <coughs> like people who use computer more are often more introvert, you know, những người hướng nội ta dùng máy tính nhiều hơn. Còn hướng ngoại ta dành thời gian ta ra ngoài ta nói chuyện người con người với con người mà. Or you can talk about it in terms of 
you know um, there are job requirements cái yêu cầu công việc nó phải đòi hỏi như thế ok do people living in modern countries use the computers more than those living in developing countries những người sống trên đất nước mà hiện đại đi họ có sử dụng máy vi tính nhiều hơn những người sống ở đất nước đang phát triển không <cười> What are the methods to prevent children from playing computer or phone games? Có những phương pháp nào để ngăn ngừa trẻ nhỏ chơi game vi tính hoặc là game điện thoại không? Do you think that it is bad to play computer games? Are there any benefits? Có lợi ích hay tác hại nào cho chuyện chơi game điện tử không? Think about what uh, what it can help. Because you can learn a lot of English by playing video games. You can actually learn a lot of things through gaming. Like how to run an economy, how to run a country, something like that, you know. Even though it's very um it's a very simplified version, simplified version of a society, how to run it, but those skills you can learn how to control how to run a country how to run a business something like that <clears throat> or of course there are benefits because there has been a research they show that children who play computer games actually do better in their homework and they have better um math scores compared to people who don't play games you know đó là cái nghiên cứu nó nói luôn á những bé mà chơi video game á sẽ có điểm uh, thường là những cái điểm bài tập điểm toán khoa học tốt hơn chút xíu but that includes the fact that they do study okay nó yes. có học thì nó mới có được điểm nha nha chứ nếu mà chơi không mà không học thì thua yes, that that's includes right. the fact that they do study if they do not study and of course their score will not be good Does computer technology benefit mankind in any way? Công nghệ vi tính có đem lại tác động tốt cho loài người ở cách nào không? This is a hard one. <cười> okay, think about the fact that many things these days are automated, automated, tự động hóa. Like the production of goods are automated, so the quality is strictly controlled. So you will have like very good products that you can trust. The products that you you use it and you won't have to be afraid. You know, mình ăn vô mình không có sợ bị ngộ độc chẳng hạn. Do chất lượng được kiểm soát rất là kỹ nghiêm ngặt chẳng hạn. Because everything is controlled strictly by automated system computer technology you know think about the fact that computer technology can uh, think about chat gpt that's an example what you can do with it think about um studying yes with google that is computer technology google Think about chat GPT, think about chatbot or anything like that. Okay, you have some time to think now. Okay, please describe a time when your computer broke down. <clears throat> Careful with a verb, okay? Yes, um, well, I'm going to share with you a time when my computer broke down. That was um, about a week ago, and it was when I was uh, learning on my, com on my laptop and eventually it uh, broke down and it was when I, when i accessed a website in order to take an online exam and everything was on the screen stopped and i was so <clears throat> off and okay. started it again um, and then everything um, come back to so 
That's make that made me irritated at first, and and I I even uh, told my brother to bring me another uh, laptop in order to uh, in order for me to not meet that uh, br br that um, problem uh, in again, and so so that um, I can take the online exam. Otherwise, my my teacher at school would criticize me so that was the time when i uh, felt really irritated and nervous and i don't want to meet that problem again okay right okay very good <clears throat> that was good okay so let's go to part three now so what kinds of people use the computer more what do you think well in my in my experience, I think that um, office workers or some or the people that um, whose uh, jobs require them to work with computer the most, because they most of the time they spend on working with computers, so they uh, they use the computer more than the students who just play games or. Uh, the people at home who just uh, come home and uh, use, use their computer for entertainment during the evening, you know. And so that's, I think that those people who work with computer use computer more than the others. Oh, I see. Right, so think about, uh, so, you, so you talk about that, so... Um... Do people living in modern countries use a computer more than those living in developing countries? Do you think it's possible? Uh, yes, to the best of my knowledge, I, I believe that um, in modern countries, uh, the per percentage of people working with working with a computer is greater than those than that of uh, the, than those in. The developing countries, because um, in developing countries, people have more jobs to do manually, so their work doesn't don't their works don't require them to work with a computer. So that I find that uh, in modern countries, it's possibly that it's possible that uh, the, those people here there use computer more. Mm -hmm. I see. It's possible. Okay, very good. You use the word possible. Okay, you are being very objective. Đúng rồi, mình rất là khách quan, nói như vậy là tốt. Very good. <coughs> but don't you think that developing countries are catching up really fast to developed countries as well? Because, take for example, Vietnam we see that a lot of people they use computer like so many hours in the day even at night after work they use computer yes. um, and in developed country i can see that people are trying to cut down on the hours they spent in front of the computer screen and they go to gym they go to clubs they go to like you know, uh, gathering meets up with people or concerts more. Don't you think so? Don't you yes. think the situation oh. is a bit like a reverse of this question? Yes, of course, that's a fact. Hmm, interesting. Right, I see. Đó, lật ngược vấn đề lại, mình có thể lật ngược vấn đề lại. Đó là một cách để mà thể hiện ra được cái cách suy nghĩ của mình. It's yes. actually a good way if you turn around a situation like that. Mm. It's a good way to answer the question as well, you know. Okay, so what are the methods? Say again. Là trả lời dài quá có bị làm sao ạ? Không sao đâu, càng tốt. Thì nó sẽ làm cho cái câu trả lời của nó nó có nhiều phần như vậy, nó sẽ làm ấn tượng cho người giám khảo hơn và người ta có nhiều cái để chấm điểm hơn, tốt hơn. Ủa vậy trả lời một một câu part 3 mà nó dài ngang một câu part 2 vậy có ổn không ạ? Yes, I think it's actually good that way, you know. Oh. Don't worry about it. Part 3 là mình nói dài bao nhiêu tùy em mà. Thích là à. dài là dài, tha hồ thôi. Mm. Just remember the part 3 if you answer it long 
the examiner will not have enough time to ask you more questions. Oh, yeah. So because there are a lot of people who take exam, you know, remember? So yes. if you answer your answers long enough or longer than needed, the examiner are much more likely to not ask you more questions, you know, and then your grades might be better, I think. Yeah, yes, I think so. Luôn yes, I think so. Okay. Nếu mà bạn nào trả lời ngắn quá sẽ bị hỏi hoài luôn và người ta sẽ tìm cách cố làm sao push bằng điểm lên cao nhất thôi. Okay. Right, let's try this next question. So what are the methods to prevent children from playing computer or phone games? You said you have brother, right? Is that yeah. younger or older brother? Yes, uh, it's uh, it's uh, older, my older brother. Oh, your elder brother, I see. Maybe your brother can answer this question easier. <laughs> yes, of course, uh, he's uh, older than me. Of eight course. years, eight years older than oh, me. Oh, wow. He when had, was uh, he born? When was he born? He was born on 1998. Oh wow, so you were born in 2006, I see. Yes. Oh wow, I'm so old now. <laughs> uh, are you in your eight, 30s? No, I'm actually 34 now. I'm, I was born in 1989, okay? 1989. But I might not look 34. Uh, the same age as uh, Domisi. Say again? Uh, you are at the same age as uh, with uh, Domisi. I have no idea, but... Mm. I think, yeah, I'm at the same age with Taylor Swift. Yes. Oh, yeah. 1989, yeah, Taylor Swift. Kind of old. <clears throat> okay, so uh, next question. What are the methods to prevent children from playing computer or phone games? What do you think? Well, in my experience, yeah, there are a variety of ways. For example, um, limited the way, limited the time, limit the time they uh, interact with computer or phone, or we just um, the parents just um, throw away their phone or computer so that no one can use them. And besides, there are also other ways, such as um. We can make the children to learn a lot so that they don't have time for using, for playing games on their phone. Or we just um, delete all the phone on the computer or on the phone so that they cannot play games anymore. I see. But don't you think that the more people try to prevent children from playing video games or phone games, the more they want to play them. It's yes, a psychology, you know. Yeah. yeah. There should There's be a, a so better so, way. It's not, it's not a good idea to, to prevent them from playing because uh, that's a great way for entertainment. And after entertainment, the children can learn better. Hmm. I see. Maybe a good way is to give children much more homework. <laughs> What? Don't you think? I don't think so. I mean, sometimes I also play games, and in the in the past I I spent hours playing games, but now I don't have time for them. Where are you? Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so do you think that it's bad to play computer games or are there any benefits? Well, to the best of my knowledge, I find that it's not a good idea. It's not a great idea to um, not play computer games because um, computer games brings about a wide range of benefits Uh, for example, they help they help um, people to relax and uh, find some 
or join while playing games and it's, it's there's a research that state that um some children or most children who play games uh, and after that they learn math they you know often achieve higher score than those who don't play games <coughs> So that I think that games boost their uh, logical thinking and also criticism. <coughs> and also what? Also what? Say again. Critical, uh, logical thinking and um, critical thinking. Critical thinking, logical thinking, critical thinking. Okay. It's actually it actually provides a lot of benefits. But think about the health issues is that can come with sitting in front of a computer for so many hours you know yes actually there's a research they say that if you sit in front of a computer for too long uh, you can slouch you know they can slouch it's not a good thing why oh, moment please There's a there's a problem with the, with the site. Slough. 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 But there's another meaning for that. I think slough. Wait a moment. Sloughing, I think. Never mind that. It can affect their posture. Let's just say that. Anh hưởng đến cái tư thế that can affect your their sitting posture and health. If you sit for too long in front of a computer, that's a, that's a bad thing about playing computer games. Also, how about their eyesight? Tầm nhìn mắt thì sao? They could easily have short sightedness. Cận thị. Short sightedness, or we call them myopia. You know, it's a common problem among many people when they are you when they use computer for too long, you know, or when they're exposed to computer at a very young age. Okay, so let's answer the last question: Does computer technology benefit mankind in many way? What do you think? Yes, I think. Um, Try to expand this question. Try to expand it. Yep. Yes. Um, I think computer computer technology brings about a wide range of um, benefits in almost every aspect of aspects. Aspects. Aspects in aspects. almost any aspects of life or something like that. Almost every aspect of life, such as um, for example, in when it comes to learning, um, computer technology can help us learn a lot. Uh, especially if we uh, do some research on Google, it brings about a, a, um, a, wide, a wide range of information. And also, uh, there's a le lately there has been uh, a new, a new uh, AI system that called ChatGPT. And uh -huh. that, was, uh, that was just uh, developed and launched in the early 2023 yeah yes and now uh, we it brings about uh, it brings us a lot of benefits for, for example if we ask them anything about our work or our research it can research um, and tell us some great things to learn and it has almost every almost um all information we need and we can, mm -hmm. they can also work instead of us. So that's, I think that uh, it bring it has um, great advantages to of outweigh other <coughs> manual way, way of uh, working. So yeah, that- Yeah, but I, that still sounds very vague. Can you elaborate further? Nói chính xác hơn đi, tôi nói nghe nó hơi bị chung chung quá. Yeah, like for example, how can workers use those technology in the work? For example, you can arrive you can uh, search for information much more easier and faster, isn't it? 
yes mm. and uh, this example um if uh, we have to present a uh, have to prepare for a presentation we can ask just cpt and uh it will would um do research for for us and they will have a brief report and uh, so that we can use that report to um, to prepare to prepare for our presentation and that's the that's the thing that i love most about the about it uh, it helps us to save a lot of time and also the information is maybe exactly uh, true and that's great things because um computer technologies can help us save a lot of time and make us more, a more productive worker mm -hmm. and people can reach deadline or they, people can meet deadlines faster yes i think but then as lie as answers can be found easier with technology there could be more that computer technology has to offer think about in terms of production think about in terms of um, goods you know production what did I tell you uh, the, the, quality, the quality of goods is uh, strictly controlled due to some automated uh, machines uh, that produce our good and uh, maybe you know maybe all the products um, that is manufacturers we have the same quality and also we don't uh, the uh, we cons the consumers don't have to worry about the quality of products and uh, the food we eat and they don't, we don't have to worry about them to was just poison so we don't Poisonous, have to you mean or containing bacteria due to bad quality control right Yes. Do cái sự kiểm soát chất lượng quá tải poisoning dẫn đến ngộ độc chẳng hạn. Wow. When it comes to uh, <coughs> traffic, we can see that um, the autonomous uh, cars are, are rising. So every every um, manufacturers are trying to uh, create autonomous cars in order to meet uh, the need for the need of uh, the people such as um the the elder the elders or um the disabled people disabled people disabled. or we can just say that disabled disabled Nó dùng giống như the, the rich, the poor vậy đó wow. So you can say the rich, the poor, the disabled You know Disabled The disabled who cannot um, travel on their own So that's all, autonomous uh, cars can help them to travel without uh, without any help of other people <coughs> Right, I see I think that's good enough for practice for today, I, to be honest it's good enough, I guess. Okay, nay luyện tập như là đủ rồi. I think it's good enough today. Okay, so I'll see you on Thursday then, same time.